fuck going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones. Now, last episode, I'm honestly still like, <laughs> I'm still shocked, bro. They actually killed off one of the main characters, Ned Stark, the father of the Starks. The guy who was supposed to be king, the hand of the king, technically currently. Um, and he's. If that beheading wasn't an actual dream, I'm pretty sure it wasn't, it looked goddamn real to me, then he's really dead. <laughs> and it's crazy because I think he's a good actor too. He had some pretty important scenes so far, and he's just dead. So just by just by that alone, watching that last episode, let me know that no one is safe on this show. No matter, you know, how many, no matter how much of a main character you, you, you seem to be, no matter how important you are to the story, <laughs> no characters are safe, bro. <laughs> Still shocked. Anyway, so, he, so I think he's dead. Sansa is distraught she i mean i don't think she's gonna love joffrey after this even if she's like a you know 13 year old super in love girly girl i don't think she's gonna love joffrey after this right how could she he killed her fucking her fucking dad um i don't even think Cer well cersei i don't think cersei cares but uh i mean that was i mean that was more than cersei would have done cersei wanted to send ned to the night's watch with john which would have been totally fine. They could plot their revenge, attack later, sure. But no, Joffrey the fucking bastard. Well, he's not a bastard, but I'm calling him, you know, I'm trying to insult him. <laughs> he got him killed. Um, Arya, she's distraught too. I don't know what she's gonna do now. Um, Rob, Rob did capture Jamie, so there is a plus in our books, but there are definitely a lot more negatives. Khaleesi, the call, don't know the result, but they had blood, horse, magic, demonic shit happening. And honestly, it's kind of the Khaleesi's fault. She trusted the woman too fast. I, I, I know she's trying to be a good person and all, but she let a random witch doctor mess with her husband's wound. That doesn't sound right in any language. So yeah, don't know what's happening there. Um, and it's kind of a shit show right now. <laughs> the only dub we have is Rob. So Rob was able to, uh, uh, or Caitlyn was able to convince Walder Frey, or whatever the fuck, the Freys, by, you know, uh, having Rob, you know, marry one of his daughters and having Arya marry one of his sons. So that's cool. That's cool and all. Rob is really the only one taking dubs right now. Everyone else is just losing losing and of course the Lannisters are winning too but well except for Jamie um Tyrion met a nice woman probably the second sexiest woman in the show I still think Khaleesi's assistant I don't know her name yet but she's very very beautiful but I think the Shay girl I mean damn bro. she not only is very sexy she's like she actually looks like she's a uh, like chill to hang out with with Tyrion so there's that and um I know Rob made a great chess move in sending it was like an Irwin type of move, like from Attack on Titan. He sent 2,000 troops to their death as a distraction on purpose. And he sent his 18,000 to, to go deal with Jamie. Great move. Great move. The first move done, and I mean, shit, they're kind of winning, right? It's like tipped towards the Stark's favor because they have fucking Jamie. That's a big fucking chess piece. That's like part of the new King's Guard, right? So, well done, well done. And uh, yeah, so let's see the aftermath of the beheading of Ned Stark if it was real again it could it could have been a dream Ned Ned was starving and thirsty in the Red Keep he could have been having a dream but you know my instincts tell me that shit was real right um, so before we get into the reaction though make sure you guys look at the links down below in the description there you can find my twitch channel where I live stream my patreon where I'm 10, 10 episodes ahead and I have the full reactions of everything that I'm watching my discord come on and join and my Twitter Go and follow that as well. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and get into it. This is Game of Thrones episode 10. I think this is season finale. Already there. Goddamn. Cool. Let's get into it. Oh, I see. Smart guy. He's He knows 
It's Arya, the girl, but he's ca he's calling her a boy so no one recognizes her and cutting her hair. Smart move. Smart move. Hey, it's the uh It's the bird dream again. This has got this is the third time it's this happening. What does this mean? This three eyed bird. <laughs> At this point, third time's a charm. It's gotta mean something. I just don't know what the fuck it means. Leanna, my father's sister. King Robert was supposed to marry her, but Rhaegar Targaryen kidnapped her. Oh. Robert started a war to win her back. He killed Rhaegar, but she died. That's anyway. why he hates the Targaryens. Damn. Fucking Targaryens. I mean, Daenerys seems like a good Targaryen, but all the other Targaryens seem awful. <laughs> Except for the Aemon, the one at the Night's Watch. And maybe Aegon. Aegon seemed seemed cool too, from what what, what we've heard. That's Rob. Rob Ragin. Yeah, I don't blame him. I mean, now it's just war. Now it's on. Damn. Damn. It's on now, man. Hopefully he doesn't make, like, right now he's playing good chess, though. Hopefully this does not make him make rash decisions, you know what I mean? Because it's definitely going to fuck up his psyche. Because he's doing well right now, so... We have to get the guards back. And then we will kill them all. Oh, shit. <laughs> Very amusing. Isn't it a funny song? Thank you for your entry. Again. I imagine he was even better received at that tavern. I wish Joffrey's personality was as good as his outfits. <laughs> his outfits are fire. Tell me, which do you favor? Your fingers or your tongue? Oh, come on. Joffrey is... Oh, he's the worst. Oh my god, he's the actual worst. No, please, no! This one's your father. Why are you showing her that, dude? Is he... What the fuck? what happens to traitors. To be merciful. I was. I gave him a clean death. Are you kidding me? Look at him. How? How did Cersei raise Joffrey? Why is he like this? Oh my god. The biggest shitter I've ever seen. After I raise my armies and kill your traitor brother, I'm going to give you his head as well. Or maybe he'll give me yours. Ooh, bitch. Don't do it. She wants to jump. Stop. 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 Oh, push him off. Okay, I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Go. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. The hound doesn't seem like a softy, but that was a softy kind of move. He saved her there. Okay, hound. I misjudged you. I apologize. Maybe he's one of the good guys. Dude. <laughs> Joffrey is <laughs> I don't even know how what adjective you use for him. Like, he's the new mad king. He's mad. The things he's doing is just so fucked. King in the north! The king in the north! The king in the north! The king in the north! I love I love it. The camaraderie I feel. It's it's nice. It's awesome. The king in the north! I mean, yeah, it's it's time to turn on the fucking jets and avenge his father. What do it become, she? Oh. Your bed must be lonely. Is that why you came? I'm not at my best, but I think I can be of service. Oh, Jesus. Slip out of that game. <clears throat> we'll see if I'm not too. <clears throat> Jamie, what? Well, you're talking greasy. <laughs> Was it this exciting last time when you were young? Wait, what? Wait. Have we captured Rob Stark yet? This kid? What's our next move? Cersei! What? Is he not... Get back into bed. Is he not underage and in the same family? What is up with her? She could... She could land like... Like top tier dudes, no? Why is she fucking with her fam, bro? Ah! 
I understand why Joffrey is the way he is. <laughs> you will serve as Hand of the King in my stead. You'll bring that boy King to heel and his mother too, if needs be. What? If you get so much as a whiff of treason from any of the rest, Baelish, Varys, Pycelle. Head spikes wolves. Why not my uncle? Why not anyone? Why me? You're my son. Wow. Honestly, Tyrion to be a great hand. He's he's a s fucking s clever ass dude. Yeah, he's the mind. That's what the hand does. They guide the king. Only problem is the current king is Joffrey. I don't think Joffrey's gonna listen to a word Tyrion's gonna say. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So Tywin actually seems like a fucking good, chill dude. You know, seems like reasonable and rational. Way better than Cersei and Jamie. <laughs> Where is he? Is she good? Oh, she, I hope she doesn't have the same like. The boy did not live. Oh. That's something you never want to hear as a mother. Tell me. What is it to tell? Damn. How did my son die? Hopefully she's not sick though. Where is Khal Drogo? Show him to me. Show me what I bought. With my son's life. As you command, lady. Come. I will take you to him. Time enough for that later. I want to see him now. Jesus. This situation just got fucked so fast. It all started with a fucking measly battle wound. Now this? My god. This is not life. When will he be as he was? When the sun rises in the west, sets in the east. When the seas go dry, when the mountains blow in the wind, neck leaves. Holy shit. Fuck that witch bitch. <laughs> what is she? She ruined us, man. She ruined everything. Well, and it, it's kind of Khaleesi's fault too for trusting her, but. My god. You can't. Oh, John found out too. I mean, yeah, he's got to go now. Sorry, Night's Watch. You can't leave us now. We need you here. Move. I won't let you go. Move. No. Oh, Sam. I love Sam. He's a bro, dude. He's the bro. He's a bro's bro. You know what I'm saying? Sad. That's like her first love, huh? He can't even move his eyes. That's oh. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's doing him a favor. I mean, that's not living. Oh boy, this show, man. It's hitting me everywhere right now. All kinds of feels. Terrifying feels? Feeling feels? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. A man with great ambition and no morals, I wouldn't bet against you. <laughs> and what would you do with them if you found yourself sitting up there? I must be one of the few men in this city who doesn't want to be king. You must be one of the few men in this city who isn't a man. You can do better than that. <laughs> I love, dude. These two interactions are so good. When these two interact, a useful talent. I'm sure you'd agree. So here we stand in mutual admiration and respect, playing <laughs> our roles, serving a new king. Oh, my, king. my king these two are awesome seriously their interactions are the best it's just a constant battle of wit yet you know they respect each other right i mean it seems like baelish wants the throne and varus doesn't so like what if like baelish becomes king and varus becomes the hand that is literally probably an unstoppable duo oh they can do great things a part of me wants that to happen. Holy shit. That'll be fire. Probably not gonna happen. Probably gonna, we're gonna have, you know, a Stark sitting on the throne. 
that seems like the the happy ending that we that we all uh, are expecting. <laughs> Here I am. Come on, hmm. you sons of it's a thousand leagues from here to the wall, and winter is coming. They're going to the wall. Damn. The wall seems like the default place to go if you're lost. <laughs> Damn, Arya's kind of like roughing it out here, bro. She's like one of the youngest ones and kind of just like going with the flow. She has no like path. I kind of like that though. It's like, what is she going to do? She obviously wants to be a fighter. And one of the things about being a fighter is you got to go through some through some rough shit. And that's what she's doing right now. So I, I kind of like what, oh, you know her story. I need to find out what's happening. The Night's Watch will ride in force against the Wildings, the White Walkers, and whatever oh, else shit. Out there. This is John's first trip, yeah? We will find With his new Stark, sword? And his crew behind him? I will All right. Myself. I really want to see some, some White Walker action. You know what I'm saying? We only saw them in the first episode. And that little bit in, like, the, the other episode. And anyway, rest in peace to my guy Cal Drogo. He was actually pretty awesome. You know, he found love in Daenerys. She found love in him. Just mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Stand aside as you climb on that pyre. I won't watch you burn. Oh, what? Is that what you fear? She's gonna kill herself along. Oh no! Now he kind of loves her. <laughs> But wait, why is she... She loves the call that... I mean, yeah, I, I respect that she's, you know, a real down one. Ride or die. But what? I feel like she has so much to live for. Well, the witch bitch deserves it. She ruined everything. Fuck her. <laughs> Fuck her and her witch doctor magic. What is she doing? Why is another main character like Don... No! Are they killing off another main character? What the fuck is wrong with this show, bro? No. But why? Khaleesi, why? I get you love your man, but... Wait, what? <gasps> oh my god! She's actually immune to fire. Wait, what's in her hand? Oh, yeah, 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 kneel before your queen, <gasps> she's the chosen one, oh my god, I'm getting like mad chosen one vibes, bro, that's three fucking baby dragons, this is so fire, bro, three baby dragons. I mean, all we gotta do is wait for them bitches to grow up, right? Damn. Look, guys. That... was so good. <laughs> oh, shit. Um... That was so good. That's the season finale. Holy shit. All right, so before we talk about the end, let's talk about what happened first. So it seems like everyone's got their path. Joffrey's a terrible shithead. Now it's been totally confirmed. We already knew this, but now it's like 100% confirmed. He's a total shithead. Sansa is just, she's got the worst of it. She's in the middle of all the shitters. Cersei's apparently sleeping with her younger fucking um, nephew, right? That, that's her nephew, no? Or she's definitely related to him and he's underage. Like, why Cersei? Cersei has status, has money, and has looks. So why is she fucking with her family? She can land any fucking, fucking night she wants, right? What the fuck is wrong with her, dude? At least we now know where Joffrey gets his craziness from. Cersei is not okay in the head. Yikes. Um, so there's that. Uh, we got Arya. Also, Arya... Has it has it really? I mean, honestly, all, a lot of the Starks are roughing it right now. Arya's got a rough. She, I think, she's going to the wall as well. Um, 
you know, she she's like barely eaten. She's barely like, I mean, she's done a, a bunch of sword training, sure, but man, she she's also like just going through it, right? Um, we got John and the Night's Watch going against the. He, he's doing his first Beyond the Wall raid. Very cool. Excited to see what happens. Hopefully, he fights some White Walkers. Hopefully, we get some more White Walker action, right? Um, and uh, yeah, dude, Daenerys. Oh. Let's talk about the Baelish and Varys interaction. I love their interactions so far are so good, bro. They have them with Tyrion have some of the best dialogue. By the way, Tyrion's girl Shay. Oh my god, she's sexy. But dude, Varys and Baelish. Oh, like when Bar when Baelish and Varys were staring at the throne, I, I just immediately thought like if Baelish becomes king and he makes Varys the hand, they will rule for a long fucking time because they're so smart, right? You know, maybe Baelish is going to have to learn to fight a little bit as king because the king's got to get into battle. But, you know, with their minds, they could rule so well. Seems a little bit overpowered, though, so it's probably not going to happen because, honestly, them two as a duo, ooh, that's, that's unbeatable, like, as far as minds go, right? Um... But dude, I love their interaction. It's just a constant battle of wit, cleverness, and but yet at the same time they mutually respect each other and you know what they do. You know, we got Varys the Master of Whispers, Baelish, same shit, you know what I'm saying? And now they're serving they're gonna find a way to serve Joffrey the right way. Because their personalities kind of are, are like chameleon uh, like, right? Where they, they they tend to who they're talking to, who they're serving, and that's why they're they've they've lived so far. And that's why they are they are at the status that they are now so fire fire now let's talk about Daenerys Daenerys Stormborn so I got chosen one vibes you know how the Neo got up from the Trinity kiss get up Neo and then he could fucking stop bullets in the air I got that vibe from her because she was you know it's it's crazy I actually for a, for a second there I forgot that she's actually immune is she I mean they showed her touching like she didn't get burn marks but I made it, I jokingly said, she she's not actually immune to fire, right? But this episode confirms she can't be burnt. She's immune to fire. And now, she has three fucking baby dragons. Like, now, now I'm thinking, dude, if these dragons grow up and we can get more Dothraki on our side, she has fucking dragons, she has the strongest warriors, all she needs is some fucking money and a place to stay. So, she, dude, she, yeah. As far as the as far as the chosen one on who I think might be by might, might be like the king or queen, Daenerys has like the late game with those dragons. Cause how do you fight against dragons? How? How? They haven't bleh. You know? Jeez bro. This show. I see the thing is I knew so the only when when I first started Game of Thrones, I knew the show had dragons. And that's one of the reasons why I really wanted to watch it. I didn't know they were going to be here this early. I thought it was going to be like, it has like eight seasons, right? I thought it was going to be like season four. But we're already seeing them here. Sure, they're babies, so they're probably not going to do much now, but they exist. I thought they were killing, like, killing off another main character, Angle Cap. <laughs> so Ned is officially dead. Um, and stupid ass Joffrey showed Ned's Ned's head to Sansa. Awful, awful kid, bro. Like Joffrey, I, I, honestly, I see a terrible death for Joffrey. Like, I mean, I can't be the only one thinking that he deserves to die. He's such a little shitter. You know what I'm saying? And Cersei isn't any better. Um, they kept. They, we still captured Jamie, so that's good. We got Jamie as a chess piece. And also, Tywin. I kind of so because of because of how fucked up Cersei and Joffrey and Jamie seemed to be in the head. I kind of assumed Tywin was also on that same fuck uppery. But he actually seems like a rationale man. Like a decent dude. He's just, you know, he's very confident. He's a general in battle. Whatever, whatever. But uh, he actually seems like a cool dude. Which kind of kind of weird. He made those fucked up children. <laughs> weird. Uh, but yeah. Cool. So. I mean, season two... There is a lot to look forward to. Everyone, there, there's like, I feel like we're following like four or five stories right now. You know, we got Arya, we got Jon, we got the, the Lannisters, we got the, the, the we got Rob. Um, and yeah, we just got so many stories going on. It's great. And I don't feel, I don't feel as confused anymore. 
I feel like I know what's going on now. It's called Game of Thrones because the game is who will get the throne at the end of the day, right? And I mean, there are so many people that want it. Baelish, Lannisters, I'm sure some of the Starks want it, you know? Um, yeah, man, love it. Cool, well, season two will be tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Um, but before I end this video here, make sure you guys look at the links down below in the description. There you can find my Twitch where I live stream, my Patreon where I'm 10, 10 episodes ahead with the full reactions available, my Discord, come on join, uh, and my Twitter, go and follow that as well. Other than that, y'all have a good one. I'm out of here. Peace out, Joe.